When Python packages with linked C libraries are not available as a pre-built binary for your operating system, you're going to have to build it yourself, which can be a real pain. So instead, I'm going to show you how the ActiveState platform can build any Python package that relies on C libraries automatically. So here's my project on the ActiveState platform. It's based on Python 3.10. It just has one package, PyAML. Now I'm going to want to build PyAML for Linux, Mac, and Windows. And normally, I'd have to create a build environment for each of those OSs. I'd have to populate it with a C compiler native to that OS. I have to download the source code and all the dependencies. I have to create a build script and so on. But luckily, this is all taken care of for you by the platform, which is basically a cloud-based build farm on AWS. So if I click on Download Builds, you can see I've already pre-built these things for you. Uh, you can see here they've got a build time of 15 minutes for Mac, uh, but only, I believe here, it's only a few minutes, 2 minutes 58 seconds for Windows, and Linux a little longer, around 18 minutes. So within a few minutes, you can build all of the dependencies plus PyAML, uh, plus as well Python 3.10 built from source as well. So given that, Let's dive in and check out just what happens when one of these builds kicks off. I'm going to click View Logs, scroll up here, and give you a look at what, what exactly happens when we kick off a build. The first thing we do is we download Builder, which is basically a container system that's going to execute the builds for us. The next thing we do is we look for the source code. And this is coming from an S3 bucket. That's because the platform contains a, its own catalog of source code for all the components that need to be built. So we're going to retrieve PyAML's source code, which is this archive, and then download it into our builder container system. Once we download it, we then unpack it, and then we look for patches, whether they're required. In this case, there aren't any patches required, so we skip that. And then we start to unpack all of the dependencies. So retrieving all the dependencies and unpacking those and making those available within our builder system as well. Now once all those dependencies have been unpacked and ready to go, that's when we retrieve Visual Studio. So Visual Studio being the compiler for Windows, uh, we bring that into the container and then configure that, set it up so we can kick off the build at which point we just start building all the components. Now the key thing here is that the platform also has a known build script, what we call a recipe, that understands which components need to be built in which order in order to create PyAML. And at the end of that whole sequence, what we end up with is a build complete and an archive that gets output. We then verify the checksum, and if everything's good, we then go ahead and upload that artifact uh, for further use. So in other words, the platform will cache it. If somebody else needs it, they won't have to rebuild it from source. They can just use the cache object. So this also happens concurrently for Mac in a different build system using Xcode in this case, also for Linux using the GCC compiler. And at the end of it, all I need to do then is just copy this install snippet, plug that in on my command line, and I can go ahead and install this environment locally on my machine. So in this way, you can use the ActiveState platform to create any binary for any package with a linked C library or even a linked Fortran library without needing a local build environment.